What's up, people? It is your girl, Adiola. My people, move closer. Wait a minute. That's not my intro. Welcome back to the channel. Is your favorite village boy, Mr. Ghana. That's not my intro either. Thinking about it, I don't really have an intro. All jokes aside. One of the most dangerous aspects of colonization is its prolonged lasting effect. We witness this in various aspects of our lives, one of which is an identity oppression, where we are purposefully disconnected from our history, leading to an identity crisis. In an attempt to reestablish that connection, I'll be giving you amongst the top 10 lies told about Africa. Lie number one is that Africa didn't contribute to global civilization. The worst part about this is that not only does the world believe this, but so do we. And this cultivates an inferiority complex where we have no sense of pride in our heritage. And the truth is that the world wouldn't be where it is without the contribution of Africa. We all credit the Greeks for being well above their time when it comes to science, politics, and arts. Did you know that countless Greek scientists spent a substantial amount of time in Africa learning underneath the guidance of African scholars, including Pythagoras, you know, the mathematician that we all love to hate for coming up with his Pythagorean theorem. Pythagoras spent 22 years in Africa learning underneath King Amasis II before he went back home to build schools in Greece. Before I head over to the second common lie told about Africa, I just want to ask this question. What's up? Do you speak African? <sighs> I cannot state how many times that I've been asked this question. Line number two is that Africans speak the same language. The truth is Africa is a country with a vast array of lingual diversity. There are thousands of languages spoken on the continent. Nigeria alone has over a thousand different languages and dialects that is being spoken. The notion that all Africans speak the same language is usually seconded by the thought that all Africans make the clicking noise while they speak, stereotypically referring to the clicks of the Isi Osa dialect. Guys, I've got to admit, I've been working on that click for the past 30 minutes now, and if you think I nailed it, Feel free to leave a thumbs up button down below and I will greatly appreciate that. Isi Kosa, by the way, is the most clutch language in human existence. Speaking on language, line number three is that Africa had no written language system. I cannot state how many times that I've heard this lie. Every history class that I have been in, day-to-day -day conversations that I engage in. It is like our history and everything that our ancestors have written down is being swept into irrelevancy. I made a recent video where I spoke about Africa having the largest amount of Asian written languages. For example, I am Yoruba of West Africa and the written language that my ancestors used is called Insabidi. And this is a form of writing that consisted of over 500 different letters. The truth about Africa is hidden to the world. And I believe that this is the origin of our pain and suffering. We can no longer continue living with the world having an adulterated perception of the African continent. We need to tell our story ourselves. If you haven't yet, don't forget to press the thumbs up button at the bottom of this video. By doing so, it tells the YouTube algorithm to suggest this video to more people. Line number four is that it is not safe to visit Africa. Western media is notorious for propagating a false conception of the African continent. This leads many to falsely believe that Africa is unsafe to visit. I'm not here to paint a fairy tale because Africa is in its infantile stage and is struggling to establish its identity on the world scale. It is disingenuous to group the entire continent underneath and under safe umbrella. This only fools the false notion that Africa is being ravished by war, leading to an adulterated conception of the African continent. Contrary to popular belief, Africans are the most peaceful and loving people on the planet. Africa is a beautiful continent with a lot to enjoy. Line number five is that Africa is a country, and this is a common misconception. What many don't know is that Africa is the most diverse continent on the globe, consisting of over 54 countries with a sum total population of 1 billion people. Africa is so diverse I don't even know where to begin. I covered an inch of African diversity in a previous video where I mentioned of how you can find the tallest people in the world living only a few miles away from where you can find the shortest people in the world. I also mentioned of how scientists are convinced that due to Africa's diversity, you'll find the smartest group of people in the world somewhere in Africa, and they're actually in search of them via the African Einstein project. Line number six is that it is always hot in Africa. Many people believe that Africa is a desert. 
answer. Truth be told, Africa's weather is as diverse as its people. Most of Africa is hot, but Africa also experiences extreme weather conditions like snow. Did you know that there are ski resorts in places like Morocco, South Africa, and you also find snow on the peaks of Mount Kenya? The seventh lie told about Africa is that Africans live in mud huts. Believe it or not, I've actually been asked how is it like living in mud huts? And to that I say this. What many people fail to understand is that throughout history, Africans have manifested unrivaled architecture feats that leave modern day scientists puzzled at the genius accomplishments of Africans. It saddens me that all of this seems to be subverted and all that has been shown about Africa is mud huts. In fact, a lot of people will rather conclude that these structures were built by aliens as opposed to recognizing the genius of African architecture. And by the way, all of these images that I have been showing you are all prehistoric African kingdoms. Line number eight is that Africa is poor. Africa, like every other continent, contains within it cities with lofty standards of living. Cities in which if you would like to live in, you'll need to sell your kidneys. And your children. And your children's kidneys. All jokes aside, every form of technology that we use day to day cannot be made without Africa's resources. The world needs Africa, thereby making Africa the most valuable continent on the planet. And that makes me wonder what Africa would be like if we sold our resources at a fair price. Line number nine is that Africa is a dark continent that Africa had no civilization prior to colonization. The purpose of this video is to shine a light towards the dark corners of your mind to illuminate your perspective on Africa. That was deep, right? If you thought that was as deep as I thought it was, feel free to press that thumbs up button because it helps to spread this message further than you think. Here's something that our history books don't mention. Africa prior to colonization was a superpower. Africa contained within it a complex network of powerful cities known for its military accomplishments and advancements in technology. Line number 10 is me. Yes, I am a lie. I know that this video is titled Top 10 Lies, but in all actuality, it is nine. And that is because I wanted to use this opportunity to say something that I feel is really important to be said. I've been studying African history for the past five years now, and I have to tell you, our history is beautiful and it is glorious. There's a reason why our history is hidden from us in history books. This results in an identity crisis, and I found myself through my history. And I believe the same for you too. You can join me on this journey by subscribing to my channel down in the description below. If you haven't yet, also don't forget to press the like button on this video because it helps to spread this message further than you think. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Tuna Cheki because this is more than just a channel. It is a community. You can also check out Tuna Cheki merch. Personally, I'll be getting the home hoodie with the corresponding face mask. If you like videos like this and want to see more of it, you can head over to my channel through the playlist that's going to be on the screen. You will see more videos that I have made about Africa. That's all for now. I pray that this video has met you well and in good health. I pray that you are safe and that you are currently living the best versions of your life. I love you all so much. Stay safe and have a wonderful, wonderful day. This portrays Africa through a media lens as though Africans never had...